welcome back if you're joining me from another video, if you're joining me for the first time, hello! Well, on Dolly Week I wanted to include some dolls for an age group which I'm actually probably asked the most about four to six year olds. Now for four to six year olds, it's Barbie is pretty much the go-to. Barbie is the go-to, but some parents don't want to do the Barbie thing. And it's nice to think you can buy something like this, a doll like this, but with a four to six year old you have to face realities. At that age these dolls may be given a specialized makeup, they may have their hair trimmed when you're not looking, accessories such as glasses and bangles etc are going to be lost, shoes are going to be lost, and basically collectors like me find them in the thrift store. <laughs> very shortly and use them as custom baits etc. So if you're going to buy a high fashion doll you know your child the best maybe they're fantastic with toys but they're the standard four to six year old is not going to keep a high fashion doll looking like a collector's piece so watch what you spend on them is always what I say it's not going to stay like this forever but there are alternatives to the standard size fashion doll. If you have a child that you're being realistic with, they are still a little rambunctious, a little still bit feisty, might drop their toys a lot, lose their accessories, pull the hair out, I would recommend going for something that's a larger size doll. The reason being it's easier for them to hold, it's actually easier to style if you want to keep the doll for years to come because Lord knows I belong to enough forums to know that there are people out there who have grown up and are looking for their childhood dolls. <laughs> it's easier to restore a doll that is a larger size or to keep a doll that is a larger size clean. Let's bring up two of my recommendations. La La Loopsies are plastic dolls that are basically built to resemble rag dolls and let me not tell you, there are so incredibly many of them, there is something which is certainly going to fit into the bill of something your child likes, there is just lots upon lots upon lots of them and they come in different sorts of things, they come in this standard kid size, um, and they come in like um, growing teen like girl size, they come in babies, they're just, a, and they come in minis. So you can, if you want to collect something easy with your child, pick like a one like B spells a lot, that's B E A, I'll have put her name down somewhere like this, and she comes in all the sorts of variations that you can get, so it's something for you and your kid to look out for when you're going thrifting, it's a really really good thing. Let's open this one up and have a look. This is Stormy Sky. She is a rock star and loves cats, obviously, by her pet over here. My daughter plays guitar and she loves cats, which is why I picked her up. So because these are the Netflix versions, these are a lot smaller than the original ones which came out. Um, still a really good size and more so they are on Netflix so your child can keep up with the character and the personality and the show you know, see a little bit of their own doll, which always makes it excite more exciting for a kid. Isn't this cat adorable? He's really, really cute. Here is the brush. Now, because these are toddler, what I'd call toddler dolls, as I said, they're bigger versions and their hair is easier to restyle back into its original form. So, you know, if your child really wants to brush that hair, they can. And when you're having a free night, you can put it back the way it was meant to be. <laughs> if you're fussy with things like that. So here is Stormy Skies out of the box. She's really, really cute. But more so than the original version. Part of the reason I chose the Netflix is uh, for the um, for showing on the four to six year olds. These ones have stand ability. So if you know the original, um, it's not going to sit on my one, but she, you can see she's standing up. I'm holding her by the legs, and she's holding her um, pose. The original ones are extremely hard to pose. Now on my Instagram you might have seen my hauls with Lala Loopsy etc. I honestly have probably about 50 plus dolls <laughs> of the original Lala Loopsies and um, they sit down and they flop. They are very lopsy flopsy. <laughs> 
which makes them extremely hard to display and makes them hard for role play for kids I felt because a child has to be holding them whereas this one if you get her in the right pose she will stand up by herself and I will show that in a bit let's bring her up and have a look up close the faces on Lala Loopsies are so basic but so adorable. So you can see she has her hair up in two pig ties which are done in curls. Very easy to reset. I mean you just basically part the hair, put it in pig ties and then recurl it. I'm keeping these within the buns, the netting, which is actually keeping them perfect. So I'm keeping them that way because I want her for display. She has this pink piece of hair which is very, very gelled. It's, that's gelled so that is not <laughs> losing its shape being pulled across there is a parting here that goes up into a curl in the in this ponytail here she has this gorgeous bow I love 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 this glittery bow and her face so incredibly basic but just gorgeous just so sweet very very innocent for a child and four to six you know you still want to retain that innocence over here we have a bent arm Again, the hands are very basic. There is no finger separation, just a small thumb. And the articulation is just the standard five points. Your head, which moves side to side. Your arm, which you can rotate. No elbow or wrist movement, so you don't have to worry about those things breaking. And the leg movement. She can't do ninja kicks off to the side, it's just basically a forward, not a back very very easy for a child to manipulate and then her dress her outfit is all one piece so again it doesn't have separate pieces like a lot of these omg dolls have etc you don't have to worry about it being lost if it's lost it's all together which makes it easier to find <laughs> as far as i'm concerned rather than finding five different pieces and some accessories that are teeny tiny it's all there her leggings are painted on which is kind of standard with all la la loopsies so she has little purple knickers on and then pink and purple leggings right down to these gigantic boots and her feet are i know these boots can come off i've seen it before her feet are just purple stubs i'm going to try and get this off there we go just purple stubs it was actually quite hard for me to get that boot off as an adult with a lot of now's it gonna be hard no it's actually easy to get on so for a little kid it's gonna be a lot harder for them to pull it off basically it's keeping it together the only thing that you can really worry about losing with this is the bow on the top and the dress the rest of the doll is very together she's gorgeous a kid is going to love her let me show how she stands up okay so you've got your doll here just make sure that you stand her nicely and that makes it so much better for kids role play the ordinary la la loopsies would be flopping this way flopping that way there's no way on earth you could get them to stand up without a doll stand this is why i chose the netflix version for a four to six year old i just think it holds a little bit more fun for their role play okay and the next doll i've decided to review is absolutely gorgeous this is the shopkins candy kids I know when I was a little girl, if I had received this dolly, oh my goodness, she would have gone with me everywhere. She's absolutely beautiful. Love, love, love the Kindy Kids range. Um, my favorite was Marshmallow, and I do love Rainbow Kates as well. Marshmallow is, to me, the, there was four that came out originally. Let's see on the back if they have them. Here they are on the back. Again, in my personal opinion, Marshmallow is the cutest. I do quite like Donatina. Donatina, I think it is. Yeah, Donatina. Quite quite a lot as well. But um, yeah, I just wanted Marshmallow out of the set. And then they brought out Rainbow Kate. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty set on Rainbow Kate as well. Let's open her up and have a look. Okay, so looking at the accessories first. I mean, this is just cute on itself. I would want to buy this just for this. <laughs> If they brought out giant Shopkins like this that are just so incredibly cute, I would. Now the added feature with this, which will really go well with young girls, is when she's feeding, it looks like there's a couple of pieces coming out into her mouth. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is just cuteness. Absolute cuteness. 
And then we have what looks like a cake pop in a cupcake thing. I'm, I'm not 100% sure what this is, but you know, you can lift it up like this. You can put her little thumb in there, it looks like, to hold on to it. And as she eats it, it goes back down. It, it's kind of one of those things that, again, it's super duper cute. As a collector, I love, love, love its cuteness. But for a child, I can see the play, the just the beautiful play they have as they're feeding their dolly. And then the doll. My goodness gracious me. Boy, did uh, Moose Toys outdo themselves when they made these toddler dolls. I am really, really surprised um, at the quality of it. When I had her in box, I can say that I thought she was very, very cute. But now that I've got her out, just incredibly, incredibly gorgeous. Let's bring her up close and have a look. Okay, so first I want to look at her hair. Her hair is dominated by white with yellow, blue, and pink swirl, well, streaks through it, I should say. It is a basic style again, so if you need to reset it, it's absolutely fine. She has a curled fringe, easy peasy, hot water and, um, and curlers. Can put that back. She then has two pigtails, again a simple part, and then it's twisted together. It is something that you can restore. That If you loved it as a child, you pulled all the hair apart, it looks like a frizzy mess, you can give it a wash and you can reset it. It isn't, a, you know, like some fancy brat style <laughs> where you're making tiny little braids, etc. And it's just gorgeous. But then look at this. Now, these little things I can see being lost as they are just clip-on, basically. These tiny little Shopkin marshmallows on each side. It's one of those things, I always look at something that's easy to lose on a doll because accessories are actually quite expensive to buy individually. You've always got to look for accessory bags and hope you get lucky if you're looking to restore a doll. <laughs> and then, look at her face. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful face. The sparkle in the eyes reminds me very much of Star Darling dolls. And then she's kept that innocent Shopkins eye style. How incredibly cute is that? And her smile. Look at that smile. It is, she is so cute. She has little white eyebrows. She doesn't have many eyelashes, just a couple of flicks. Just incredibly cute. Coming down, you will see that her head is on a bubble. Part of the reason I like this bubble is not for the reason that it moves around like this. Part of the reason I like this bubble is it would, in my opinion, it would put off a child doing makeup on the doll because it bubbles around so much. It's not easy. At four to six years old, they still don't have, you know, the control over their hands that an older child has. And yeah, that's just gonna stop the, um, the, oh mummy I found a black marker and gave marshmallow goth emo look <laughs> over her entire face so I actually really like that bubble style coming down to here look at this dress again it's all one piece so you don't have to worry about finding a t-shirt you don't have to worry about finding a skirt it is all together with velcro at the back she has painted on white knickers this dress is just cute in itself it has a little straps coming down here into two ribbons with her overskirt with little lace on the arms here. Just, just gorgeous colors. And then down to here, we have two boots. Now, the boots, unfortunately, are very easy. It's not like the Lol, uh, the um, Lala Loopsy, I should say, where it was quite hard to pull it off. She does have individual toes. Um, the boots are actually quite easy to pull off so those may go missing but because they are a bigger piece they will be easier to find than say a Barbie shoe. All together just a gorgeous little toddler doll. Or if you're like me and, <laughs> and still collecting dolls even though you're very old, a gorgeous doll full stop. This is actually really fun to do. Are you cute? Yes. Are you adorable? Yes. You want to be some little girl's play thing to love forever? Yes. I wonder if she can say no. You don't want to have your face marked over, do you? No. <laughs>
Okay, so four to six year olds or toddlers, you know, coming out of the toddler stage into the little kid stage, I do get asked a lot of questions on recommendations. These are the two dolls. They're a bit larger, they're easy to use, they're full plastic body because um, mat material bodies do get part of the reason I'm not into the Na 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 series. Everybody's been going on about the Na 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 series. I see it being them getting dirty really, really fast. But if they're played with, which is why I'm kind of like, nah, to na 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 series, <laughs> if you're seeing those dolls out. These are the dolls that I would, if I was buying for my daughter, I would be buying for her. Both adorable, both gorgeous. I hope you enjoyed this review for Dolly Week. If you love dolls, stick with me. Check out my other videos. I've done, um, LOL OMG, I've done Ever After High so far, and have I done something else? I can't remember. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? But this is my toddler dolly review for the dolly week. If you love dolls, please give this video a thumbs up. If you love toys in general, please subscribe. We love to open toys here and we love to share. If you want to see more toys, not all my dolls, not all my toys make it to YouTube. It's only what I feel like reviewing and sometimes my kids don't like me reviewing their toys. They just want them opened up so I photograph them. Check out my Instagram, Toys Dolls Funs. Let me know if you came from here and I will refriend you back and hopefully see you in the next video. Bye bye!